Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to save your tomato seeds. And at the end of the episode, I have a very special announcement related to another giveaway. But before we get into that, today's episode is all about saving tomato seeds. So contrary to pepper seeds, where you can just remove the pepper seeds from inside the pepper, tomato seeds have this gelatinous covering over each of their seeds. And when I first started saving my tomato seeds, I had to do some research to figure out what I should do with this gelatinous covering over my seeds. I did a lot of research online and I came across a lot of confusing methods and frankly, they seemed very involved. From fermenting your seeds to soaking them to even letting your tomatoes rot. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you the tools, the method. It's a simple method. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes on how to save tomato seeds. All right, let's go see how we save our tomato seeds. The tools you'll need to save your tomato seeds are as follows. A serrated knife so that you can comb off the paper towels and you'll see what I'm talking about shortly. You'll need a marker or a pen so that you can mark your paper plate so that you don't forget what kind of seeds you have. You need paper towels. You'll need a plastic bag so you can throw your towels and tomato parts away. And of course the tomato that you're gonna use. Okay, so here we are back on the balcony and it is mid-September, so these tomato plants are at the end of the life cycle. You want to pick the ripest tomato you have. And this being an illustrative video, I'd usually wait a little bit longer to pick a tomato, but this is ripe enough for our purposes. You want to wait until the tomato is completely red, more so like this one. Let's take these both inside, and uh, we'll see what kind of seeds we can get out of them. Okay, so let's start with the big tomato first. I just take my serrated knife and chop it lengthwise into fourths. We'll see if this tomato has any, uh, any good seeds for us. It was a little immature, so there are a little bit of seeds, so this will work perfectly for this video. I'm gonna set the other quarters away and just start with one. I use a high quality paper towel because if you use a cheap paper towel, You'll find that when you're doing the subsequent steps of scraping the tomato seeds off, you'll start to rip your towel. So I like to just come from the bottom of the tomato and just kind of cut out that middle placental area, if you will. It has all the, the placental tissue and, and the veins which are attached to the seeds. So let's go ahead and do that for all of the tomatoes. This is what you want. You want the, the gelatinous center bits that are attached to the seeds. So let's take apart all of those. And I always find seeds on the backs of my fingers and everywhere. So you wanna make sure when you're doing this uh, to, to double check everywhere so you're not missing, it, missing out on any seeds. Let's go ahead and, and take our smaller tomato and see what we got in here. I'll repeat the process. Just dig on in there. No, this one didn't have any seeds. So that's okay, we got a couple seeds out of here. So what I like to do is scrape away with my finger and drag the seeds that are attached to that gelatinous covering and you just scrape it away. And this tomato, we were lucky, it didn't really have much liquid inside. But for those tomatoes that have a lot of juice in them, you'll find that you'll have to replace this towel with another towel. So we'll go ahead and illustrate that just so that everything is covered in this video. So I'm gonna switch out the towel. This is why I use a serrated knife. So I gently go across the top of the paper towel, making sure I pick up all the seeds that I can. You should be able to see some seeds on your, uh, on your knife and just wipe it off on your new plate. And for the rest of the seeds that were on your initial paper towel, I like to hold it up to the light to ensure you don't miss any. So I found one up top. That was actually a good one. With this new paper plate, I'm gonna do I'm gonna repeat the process, get rid of most of the excess flesh and gelatinous bits until you're left with just some tomato seeds. Not too many seeds out of this one, but 
that's what you're left with. I usually leave it on the paper towel just so that the paper towel can soak up any extra liquid. And I put the paper towel on the paper plate with the label on it just because this would have been a really liquidy tomato. All the liquid would go onto the paper plate rather than my table. So it's easy cleanup. And then uh, the second reason I use a paper plate is to for labeling purposes. So you take that, that permanent marker or pen or whatever and you write the tomato you're using. So I'm not gonna say these seeds. They're just, this was just for an illustration of what I like to do, but I'm gonna go grab a couple other plates that I have currently drying. I did this process yesterday, so let's go see how dry they are. This is the Piccadilly tomato that I wanted to save seeds from, and the seeds are actually pretty dry. You can just take your, your finger or the back of your fingernail, because they'll likely be stuck to the paper towel, and then just lightly brush them off. Some of them you'll have to pick off with your fingers, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing just now. I'll usually leave this plate like this, just in the air, room temperature, for about a week, just to make sure that my seeds are completely dry. And then you can put them right onto the paper plate like I have here. This is a, a small Italian heirloom that I got here from a neighbor, and they're all pretty dry, but I, I kind of repeated the steps a few more times to get most of the liquid off and I was able to transfer them all to this paper plate. Let the seeds sit out at room temperature for a good week and then you're safe to package them up. So that's how you dry your seeds. I don't know how long it took. It probably took, let's see, my recording says 15 minutes. Again, it all depends on how liquid your tomatoes are and how many paper towels you have to use and how many times you're transferring and scraping with that knife. But this way you don't have to soak seeds or do any of that stuff and wait in its immediate. You can go ahead and do it right after you open your tomatoes. All right, let's go wrap this up. Well, that's it. A little bit messy, but I hope this video illustrated how to save your tomato seeds quickly, easily, and effectively. For those of you who are still here because of the special announcement, I'm coming up on a thousand YouTube subscribers. I'm about three quarters of the way there. And what I want to do is another giveaway for all my subscribers. And this year I'm growing much more than just peppers out there and I wanna do a, a garden seed giveaway. So I'll be giving away a melon, zucchini, cucumbers, tomato, all different types of tomatoes, and of course, all the peppers in my garden. And the catch is, what, what makes this a little fun is if I can get a thousand subscribers by October 31st, 2019, so in about five, six weeks from now, I'll eat a full Purple Reaper pod. And this is a purple reaper, and purple reapers ripen to be red. I'll eat a full one of these as I announce the winner. If I can't hit a thousand subscribers by October 31st, 2019, that's okay, don't worry. Once I do hit a thousand subscribers, I will do the garden seed giveaway. But I just won't be doing it with the uh, pain and uh, tears and sweat and everything else that's involved with that while announcing the seeds and the winner. So the way you can enter this competition are, one, you have to be a subscriber. The second thing is comment to this video. And the third thing is share this video. And as evidence of you sharing the video, send a screenshot to my email address, farmergeorgespeppers at gmail.com. And that'll give you a second entry into this giveaway. So there's two possible ways to get entries and that's by commenting and sharing this video and sending me the screenshot as evidence. And you have to be a subscriber. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, I hope we can have some fun with this giveaway. I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See you next time.